One of the main features of the Inhydrate Visual Modeler is the ability to break a model into multiple modules. You can think of a module as a piece of an application that has its own assembly. This functionality is most useful for very large databases. There are some organizations that have hundreds or even thousands of tables in a database. If you use standard entity framework or other ORM or modeling tools, this can cause an assembly to be emitted that is very large. There is also the concern of breaking an application to logical blocks. If you have a database with a thousand tables, no single application block will need all the tables at the same time. You might break an application into pieces based on customer, accounting, inventory, or other business rules. Each of these modules will have some subset of tables, views, and stored procedures. The, model, the, the modules might have overlapping model objects as well. They are not mutually exclusive. A customer table will probably be in the customer module as well as the accounting module. This is perfectly valid. Assemblies using either module can select from and update to the customer table in this scenario. Now let's create a few entities and assign them to modules. I'm going to import from a database, import from the Northwind database. I'm just going to pull in four tables, customers, orders, order details, and products. I'll click next and then import them. And we see all four tables here. Now I go to the model explorer. I'm going to add two modules called sales and accounting. Now modules are not enabled by default. So if I click on the canvas, I can find the use modules uh, property. Now the, the model is able to allow modules. Now we need to assign. Now if we come to the model menu, right click anywhere on the canvas and go to the model menu, module associations. And now you see the mod modules here. So in sales, I'm just going to add customer and orders. I push, and that's going to get all the fields and the relationships that are in here as well. Push save, and then I load the accounting module. And I'm just going to put orders, order details, and products inside of there. And push save, get out of here. Now I've done all the association. Now I'm ready to generate. Now normally we emit an entity framework, a data access layer, an interfaces, and a database installer project. Now that's going to be multiplied by two here because we're going to have one set of those generators for each uh, module. So let's go ahead and generate. Generate. And we have a little validation error. Hold on. And no, let's validate again. Okay, no more errors. The model was just applying validation rules to uh, these four entities. Now let's go model and generate. It comes up. Now you see there's two modules down here, sales and accounting. I want both of those. And I only want to generate the data access layer, the associated interfaces, and the installer project. Push OK. You see all the projects and files being emitted into the solution. All right. Now get all these up. Now you see that there are six projects that have been uh, created. I go ahead and compile all these. We all succeeded. We'll go ahead and add them to the dialog here. Press OK. Now this project we can use to just show a little demonstration of uh, what these modules contain. I just want to show you. Uh, what objects are actually in here. So let me get some code. And this is a little piece of code uh, that loads the accounting context. And you will notice we just declare uh, first model entities out of the accounting module. When I say uh, IntelliSense, I'll see you see order details and orders. You see products, but you do not see customer inside of this module because customer was not part of the accounting module. Now let's look at the customer module, or sales module, I mean. If I change this to sales, now we're actually loading another context out of another completely different assembly. Now when we look at this context, we do context.order, you, you see the orders, and you see the customer table, but you do not see products inside of here. And this shows how to split a model up into two different modules.